back. Hey guys, so I have found a lot of news on the new Pepsi commercial with, uh, what was it, Kendall Jenner? Yeah, I don't really follow the Kardashians. So, um, yeah, I'm going to react to it and uh, see what all the news, I guess, and reactions and hype is about. So, here we go. Oh, and just a heads up, the music that is in the video has been changed so that it's not going to create a monetization issue or whatever. Uh, it's been changed by the person who posted the commercial on YouTube. Anyway, so let's start. protest and people with a lot of O faces, people making out, lady in hijab, photographer, and a blonde Kendall Jenner that looks like Kylie Jenner being over sexual as every woman in the film industry and basically media. Pepsi has a black can? Since when? Okay. Okay, so she doesn't like her photos. Well, she's smart taking photos of the protests, because at least that'll gain a lot more traction. People dancing. Okay, dabbing. I never liked dabbing to begin with because it's just really stupid. Uh, even when I do it, it's stupid. Uh, oh yeah! Oh my god! Okay, wait, wait. I gotta stop this. Okay, so, <laughs> so Kendall. She looks at this guy that was playing, I believe, a cello, and uh, and then he goes, he like gives her a look, like, "Hey, girl, come and come on, join us in the protest." And, and then she, then she like takes off her blonde wig, and she, oh my god, no, 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 no. Okay, this is funny because she just this random person that she doesn't know without security. This girl isn't even with security for her photo shoot. Okay, in the first place. And so without security, she goes and joins this guy in protest. Like, as if that's ever, like, if that would ever happen. Like, <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, because, you know the Kardashians, they have this kind of, how should I put it? This kind of attitude that, um, kind of puts them on the list of being a-holes because they... Um, basically feel like they're better than everybody else. So, yeah, th that's why I'm saying this is never gonna happen. Never, ever. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's, let's continue. Okay, so she... So she <laughs> oh my god, okay, okay, boy, okay, okay. So she takes off her wig, she hands it to this black girl that's uh, beside her at the photo shoot. I love the face of the gr girl, by the way, because she is like... Why are you having me in your blonde wig, you racist, <laughs> racist biatch? Because, uh, girl, like, she's got the afro, she's, she's rocking the afro, and she looks great, by the way. So, when Kendall hands her the wig, this girl, I imagine that this girl is thinking, why is biatch handing me her wig? Like, does she not know? Does she not see that I do not need this nasty ass wig? Just, ew. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Okay, trans people. I like the diversity, but also... Okay, okay, so I like the diversity, but also I know they're just trying to play to the masses and to get everybody to be like, Oh my god, it's so diverse! I love Pepsi now! Like, oh my god! 
players. And so this cello player, he gives her like another hey. And um, like naturally, Kendall just like ignores him. <laughs> she smiles and just eh, whatever. I got the attention. I love the attention. And then she props with the Pepsi can. She locks eyes with the cop. And hands him the Pepsi. Okay. Okay. So I see the end of the video where this actual problem is. Okay. So Kendall Jenner, a white woman, is handing the Pepsi to the cop. And these cops are just regular cops because they're not an actual protest cop gear. Um, <laughs> protest police actually have a lot of gear, a lot of protective gear. Um, but the problem is not that. Just, just, we'll just take the fact that they're just trying to simplify everything just, just for the sake of views. Okay. Um, the problem here is that Kendall, like I said, a white woman, uh, is basically recreating uh, a situation from the Black Lives Matter movement, where a black woman was arrested by the protest police. And uh, it, it's just... Not the Black Lives Matter movement is not funny to me, it's the Pepsi thing is funny to me. Um, it's funny in a, in a really stupid, like, I can't believe you actually thought this was going to work kind of way. Um, it's funny in the way that they thought that putting a white woman um, in the position of giving a cop some Pepsi and thinking that, oh yeah, yeah, unity, everybody's gonna love each other now, woo, woo, oh my god, everybody's gonna love each other, we're all gonna love each other, yeah, maybe not use a white woman for that, <laughs> especially one of the Kardashians, who, like I said before, just, uh, are people who are is the word I used? Entitled. Um, they got a bunch of sticks up their ass. And uh, I love how she was like high fiving regular people when really, in actual reality, she wouldn't touch regular people, actual regular people, with a 10 foot pole. Um, and especially her mother would be like, oh, those regular people gotta pay you like thousands of dollars in order to even breathe the same air. Like, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, what's too good for you? <laughs> what's too good <laughs> Yeah, sorry for the face right there. That was just... I just, I just felt the need. I just had to. I, I really just had to. Anyway. I really could not give any care of any kind about this ad because really it's just a really stupid ad and um like just I feel like the people in the marketing department of Pepsi are just trying to just crunch together everything that they think that Generation Z is into and they think that, oh yeah, we're gonna put it all into one commercial and then they're all gonna want Pepsi because, wow, we're catering to them and whatever. Um, they really need to check themselves because, you know what, they already wrecked themselves. Like, that whole issue with Michael Jackson in the 80s, oh my god. Really, like, if they haven't learned from that, then I think they just need to stop marketing and just, you know, maybe hire some actual, like, Generation Z. And yes, I say Z because I'm Canadian, so I don't care. 
So, <laughs> I'm not gonna say Z because here in Canada, when you say Z, that's somebody's name. So, bye, Felicia. Anyway, so back to the stupid ad. Uh, I could not care less. Um, could not give any less fucks than I care than right now. So, um, yeah. Um, my stance on this is that um, I don't drink Pepsi. I don't drink the leading brands. I don't drink any pop that isn't vegan and natural. Um, so, yeah. I, I don't really have a need to boycott Pepsi or anything. Just the simple fact, the fact that, like, you know what? It's whatever. It's whatever to me. Um, yeah, and the fact that you can clean your toilet with, like, Pepsi and Coke. Um, yeah, that's kind of more of a turn off to me, and, um, yeah. I, I don't know, I really don't know what else to say about this, it's really stupid, and, <sighs> wow, just wow, wow. Yeah, that's all I can say is wow, it's because... The marketing department is stupid, they haven't learned their lesson, and, um, they shot before they even looked at the target. Before they even thought about, oh, what are the consequences of this? But, you know what, that's like most adults, I find. Yeah, even, even me. I admit, I do that sometimes. I do things before I even think of the consequences. But I have learned from my mistakes, unlike Pepsi. So I have changed. And really, like, Pepsi, really learn your lesson. Please, please do not make this mistake again. Just because it's really stupid and you're gonna get this again. If you like that, please come back for more. Like, subscribe, and be sure to tell your friends. I swear it's not a chore. And be sure to check out my other channels. My health channel and my vlog channel. My health channel for tips and tricks on being vegan and to learn more about my epilepsy. And my vlog channel to see what I'm up to every day. Love you guys. Mwah.